14. No, let's, not even, let's not even go there. No, no, no. Let's move on to cooking. Uh, we've got a great summer dish from uh, Chef Abraham Saloon from Saloon. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you for having me again. I, you know, I always, when I do shrimp, I'm always like, well, what, what, what can I put with them? And you've got a perfect idea. Well, this is, it's a light recipe, perfect for the summer, super easy to make and very quickly. Okay, so, so you've got them cooking up. What are they I, cooking in? They're just a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Then we're going to put a little bit of garlic and then the pasilla chilies. I don't know if you're familiar oh, with pasillas. No, I don't. Um, they're a dried chili. And then what, what, I, what we do is take all the seeds out and then we put it in an aerobic cube in a little oh, food processor. That's what's inside. That's oh, the powder. And then you yeah. food processor. Exactly. Okay. Got it. Now, to make the sauce, it's yeah. very simple. We've got Cucumbers, red peppers, cilantro, a little bit of lime juice, and celery, and so avocado, and a little oh. bit of day old bread to thicken it up. And we put oh. it in the blender, salt, pepper, season it really well. That's our sauce. It's super simple. It's like a wow. like an avocado gazpacho. Oh, I like that. Okay. So, and how long does it take to cook stuff? I mean, they're pretty oh, quick, this, right? Yeah, we started it like a minute no, ago, no, no, a minute and a half ago. <laughs> yeah. exactly. So it's yeah. super, super quick. Okay. And then. I'll put, now that they're almost done, I'll put some of the pasilla chili, which will give them a great flavor and Is this a great super color. hot chili? No, or this is, is a pretty okay. mild one. Okay. This is a pretty mild one. If you want to make it hotter, what I'd recommend is that you chop up some serrano peppers or some mm. jalapenos in there. Okay. Add it to them and that'd be fantastic. Nice. Okay. Oh, corn too. A little nice. bit of corn, a little bit of... So you're almost making like a hot salsa here. Kind of. Yeah. That's, that's a good way of putting yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good way of putting it. A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Oh, I can smell it now. Mm. Doesn't that look pretty? <laughs> Man, that's a thing of beauty. That is. And pretty. we should tell you, while you are stirring and sauteing and doing all that good stuff, you're honored to be going down to the El Dorado Resort in Riviera Maya, Mexico next month for something called the Lone Star Culinary and Music Experience. Yes, I did it last year and it was a lot of fun. It's a series of events um, at the resort. Mm -hmm. uh, there's two chefs from Texas, Daniele Puleo from Chiba Divino yeah. and myself, a musician, J.B. Barnett, who's absolutely oh, incredible. God. And it's a, it's a series of concerts and cooking demos and lunches and dinners and it's, it's so much fun. Right, and you'll come back probably five pounds lighter, won't you? <laughs> of course you will. Well, you know what? You're walking around, you're uh, doing a bunch of things, so even though you're eating, still, you will, you will have a good time. Right. That's nice. for sure. And there might be a margarita thrown in there somewhere. Just a few. Yeah. Just a few. Just so a you few. basically just put the sauce on the bottom then. Put the sauce just, you know, on the bottom. Right on top? Exactly. And the sauce is served cold, so it's just really simple. I love that. Look at that. That looks so delicious. Pretty. Then I'm just going to take a little bit of the cilantro that we have and just okay. kind of put it on it top. And finish it off. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. So the, just so everyone knows, uh, off Central Knox Anderson area. Correct. Correct. Yep. correct. The hoppin' mm -hmm. hot Knox yeah. Anderson area. <laughs> yeah. All right, we've got this recipe and a link to Saloon on Fox4news.com. And we'll be right back with the last check of your forecast. You're going to like it if you like it hot.